Hi, I'm Matt Williams and welcome to our Fundamental Principles series of videos. In these videos we'll be exploring the underpinning knowledge you'll require to follow our more advanced tutorials and to make yourself a more professional and competent aviator. As always, please be sure to like us and follow us on your social media, give us a thumbs up, that really helps, and follow us on Twitter at ThisIsAirTV to stay up to date. In this lesson then, we'll look at what is a vector, we'll look at some examples of how vectors are used, we'll look at how we draw and represent vectors, we'll look at how we add vectors together and come up with a resultant vector, and then finally we'll finish off, as always, with a summary. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is what a vector is not. If something isn't a vector, we describe it as a scalar. A scalar has magnitude but no direction. An example of a scalar would be speed, where we say 70 miles an hour, but we don't give that speed a particular direction. Moving on to vectors then, a vector has magnitude and direction. So some examples of vectors are velocity, where we can say 70 miles an hour to the right. A force can be described as a vector, where it's a magnitude working in a certain direction and so can weight, where it's a mass being attracted by gravity in a certain direction. Understanding the concept of vectors will be very important as we continue on through the more advanced principles of flight phases and look at the vector diagram to help explain what's going on inside an aircraft or a helicopter as it flies. Vectors are usually drawn using a line with an arrow. The arrow represents the direction in which the force is working, and the length represents the magnitude. We normally label our vectors, in this case, the red vector is vector A. You may see vectors labelled with a letter that has a horizontal arrow over the top. Now we'll look at adding vectors. This is a really important concept for the principles of flight that we'll be discussing later on in the course. In this case, we're going to take vector A, which runs left to right up the screen, and add it to vector B, which runs vertically down the screen. We're going to take vector B and place the tail of B at the head of vector A, and draw a line from the tail of A to the head of B. This line represents the resultant force between vectors A and B. We can also add vectors slightly differently, to represent the direction in which they're working for us. In this case, vector A is running left to right horizontally across the screen, and we want to add vector B vertically downwards, acting towards vector A. Here, we draw the resultant from the tail of vector B to the head of vector A. This is a really, really important fundamental concept, particularly later in the course, when we'll be looking at airflow over aerofoils and lift generation. So, to conclude this lesson then, you should now be able to describe what a vector is, you should be able to give examples of vectors, you should be able to now draw vectors, and add vectors together. Okay guys, I hope that was useful. If you want any more information on this or any other aviation related topic, please feel free to drop me a line, matt at thisisair.tv, or on our Twitter, at thisisairtv. I've been Matt Williams, and this is Air TV.